Is there a prop? Book a ground, uh, good afternoon, series November 122, Sierra Zulu, looking to pick up uh, IFR 271, Juliet Airport. Series 122, Sierra Zulu, book a ground, you cleared to 71, Juliet Airport, via radar vectors. After departure, climb, maintain 2000, expect 16000, one zero minutes after. Departure frequency is 125.2, and squawk 6631. Good. Full power. Ashman's alive both places. Looking good. 77 knots. And here it goes. About 90. Flaps up. It's turn 330 heading. Caps is available now. Hey, it's rainy over here. November 2, Sierra Zulu, when able turn left heading 280, and climb and maintain 10,000. Right, we can uh, do 280 and uh, 10,000 uh, right now, Zulu. All right, 280. Now, Fox, you want to do another RNAV 10,000. About to check in with uh, Jacksonville uh, Center and right over Lakeland, as a matter of fact. Hi, Lakeland. Hi, Sun. Fun. Uh, I'm going to talk to them right now, and there's a lot of precip up ahead, so we'll have to deal with that a little bit. Ooh, lightning. To say Azula, I may need some deviations to the left uh, or right. November 2, Sierra Azula, you can deviate 15 degrees left or right, or it's Batoy when able to I think I'm going to put the anti ice on just to wet the wings a little bit. It's 25 Fahrenheit for minus 4 Celsius. Lots of visible moisture here, but it's more like a thin American cloud. Are we getting snow in here? It sure seems like it. And we yeah, also have a 30 knot headwind, which is definitely not helping. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to shoot the GPS 31 approach into Azark Blackwell Airport. And approach uh, two stairs like at the airport inside. 2-0-0, Zulu, Roger. Porch cancellation on this friction ground through flight service. Change to advisor. Just go ahead, cancel out. 2 0 2 0 Zulu, squawk and maintain VF4. Change to advisor. Good day. Let's get some fuel and continue on to Little Rock. There's the fuel. Okay. Very peaceful over here. Uh, so now it's time to go back in the air and uh, start heading towards Little Rock, another couple of hours to go. And hopefully it's not going to be too dark, but if it is, it's okay. Clear prop! Alright, there's a bit alive. Both places, looking good. 77. Sun has officially set. Still have another hour 25 to go. Beautiful flight, I'm down to 6,000 feet. There's really no competitive advantage of going higher other than wasting oxygen, and I do need it for later in the week. Going over the mountains out west, and then on the way back, I will definitely be needing oxygen. There's really no reason going faster with more headwind. You're not really going any faster. So right now the ground speed is about 165 knots. Pretty good, actually not too bad. Sierra 2 
Sierra Zulu, clear, visual approach runway 4 left, contact Adams Tower 18.7. Uh, clear for the uh, visual 04 left and over the tower, enthusiasm for night. Little Rock, first time in Little Rock, lots of meetings tomorrow morning and afternoon. Rainy day today here in Little Rock. My meetings are not don't start until like 10:30 in the morning. It's about 7 a.m. right now, but, and uh, it's time to do a quick workout. So, workout it is. Gotta stay fit. Wow, well, the sun is out. I had a great meeting here in Pulaski County Treasurer. I think uh, it's a good deal. I think we'll get it done. Time to go to the airport, heading to Fort Worth, Texas. Crawl back. The prop. Zulu and the uh, West Satellite airports are closed from our corner post. I'd have to take you down to maybe uh, the Cedar Creek area. Otherwise, you'd have to find an alternate. Um, uh, uh, which airport is closed? To Seattle? November 2, Sierra Zulu, stand by. I'll get right back to you. Hold on. What is he talking about? November 2, Sierra Zulu, not, it's just not one single airport. It's all West Satellite airports going in the DFW airport are shut off on my corner post, so I can't take you to any airport unless it's DFW or an East, like Dallas uh, area airport. Um, so it's either you find an alternate destination or I'm gonna take you over to Cedar Creek. It's a Southeast corner post. I mean, I, I'm going to Fort Worth Meacham, so I'm, I'm not sure what you're telling me, but basically you, you're telling me that you cannot work it or something like that, and just, I mean, do what you gotta do as long as I, I get there. That, that's really what I care about, the schedule. At two zero, that's what I'm telling you. So pretty much anything west of DFW Airport is shut off. I can't, I can't allow any arrivals going west of DFW Airport from your position. So I got to take you down to Cedar Creek, which is the southeast corner of DFW of like the detain area, and they might be able to work you into West Satellite Airport. But I cannot uh, take you in that court, uh, this this corner post. So if you want to go to Fort Worth Meacham, I have rooting for you, and it's going to be about 200 miles south. All right, then uh, you know what the. Uh uh, Fort Worth, uh, Sirius 122, just cancel IFR. Number 200, roger, IFR cancellation is received. Scarf 1200, change the advisory frequencies approved. Or right, you want to uh, maybe continue fly following? I can do fly following for you if you want to stay uh, talking to me. Yep, that would be great. Uh, continue fly following, the schedule. Number 200, roger, maintain your presence clock code and uh, for fly following, maintain VFR. So they're very busy, basically, that's what's going on. So it's better to just take a VFR. We'll go down to 4,500 feet. We're we'll gonna do a little bit of homework and figure out where we have to be. Basically, just circumnavigate uh, around the uh, Class Bravo area.
Okay. And let's just do a little sanity check. Okay. 4,500 feet to Sassy. Then at Oric. Gonna be at 3,200 feet. And then uh, 16 miles before Kmart. Gonna be at, uh, at 2,800 feet. Alright, so that's the scoop here. That's how we're gonna do this. It's a lot of lightning. We're two Sierra Zulu Lincoln, VFR 4,500, you're cleared into the Bravo, there's just weather uh, straight on the west side of the field of where you're at, so we have to take you over top of the FW. Alright, clear through the Bravo, uh, over DFW, thanks, uh, to I guess now they're gonna fly us right over DFW, so I don't have to worry about any of the stuff that I put in here. We go from uh, having no service to having great service at 4,500 feet, through the class Bravo, right over one of the busiest airspaces in the country. That's just remarkable. Uh, we're passing uh, just north of uh, DFW, Dallas Fort Worth International. Medium Tower, good evening, Sears November 1, 2, 2, Sierra Zulu is 7.5 miles uh, east northeast of the field, uh, 3,300 descending, uh, information whiskey in Bumble Stone. Sears, 2 Sierra Zulu, number 2, follow that Gulfstream runway 16, cleared land with 1608. All right, we'll follow the Gulf Stream. Runaway 16, cleared land number two, two schedule. So that was very, very cool actually. I really enjoyed this flight. Uh, it was definitely very interesting and flying over the Dallas Fort Worth uh, International. That was very cool. So tomorrow, LA. Get up in the morning, go in the gym a little bit, and uh, then moving on to Los Angeles. Los Angeles area, Ontario International. Velvet Taco, Fort Worth. These were some of the best tacos I've ever had. If you guys are ever here, you gotta stop. Velvet Taco. Can't go wrong. <laughs> 